hello everyone and welcome to another video so i was carrying some stuff and my heater was in my hand and it fell off from my hand and i broke the glass so i thought why not take this opportunity uh, to explain how these cheap heaters work now aquarium heaters are really a pain in the head because sometimes they break uh, they never maintain accurate temperatures and sometimes they never turn on until you nudge them or move them a little bit and then they turn on and sometimes they will be stuck on and uh, increasing your water temperature and at the end killing your fish so keeping all those things in mind i'm going to show you how these heaters work and hopefully uh, you will be able to use this information to make an attempt to repair your aquarium heater maybe so this is the basic structure of the aquarium heater as you can see here is your power cable uh, which comes into the heater and this is the rubber grommet which fits in your glass tube so that water cannot get in the glass tube. Uh, here is the bimetallic switch which governs the water temperature and the other end of the wire uh, so there is two wire coming from the power outlet one is attached to the bimetallic strip and the other goes directly into the coil so this is the heating coil whenever we are we talk about electrical heating equipments there is some kind of heating coil involved so in this case we have this uh, very high resistance wire uh, which heats up when the current flows through this coil uh, the wire heats up and it, it then heats up this ceramic structure which also supports the coil and the all the air in the heater uh, trapped in the heater gets heated up and then it in turn heats the water surrounding the heater and that's how it works so the way we regulate the water temperature is using this knob actually this knob which is outside so if we want to increase the temperature we rotate this knob clockwise and if we decrease if we want to decrease the temperature we want we uh, turn the knob anti-clockwise now let's say you put your this is the normal position uh, the way heater turns on is that if you can see there is these two terminals here and one you will see at the bottom there and when the heater is cold the strip is in contact with the bottom terminal like so and the circuit completes and the current starts flowing in the heater and the heater heats up and that's the on position eventually the heater will start heating up and it will heat uh, all the water inside your aquarium and also this strip will get heated up and eventually this strip will start bending upwards because of the temperature rising the strip does that because it is a bimetallic strip strip so uh, the top metal of the strip is made of different metal and the bottom metal is made of a different metal so when the strip is heated it wants to bend up in this direction like so and when it does that it breaks the connection and the current stops flowing and the heater uh, that's the heater off position again eventually uh, the water will cool down the heater will cool down and the strip temperature will cool down and once it co it cools enough the strip will again come back to its original position which is the down position and it makes the connection at the bottom uh, terminal the current again starts flowing again and the heater goes into the on position and this cycle keeps on repeating and repeating and that's how the heater works now if your heater is not turning off then what you need to do is grab this knob and slowly decrease this uh, turn it turn this knob anti-clockwise just a little bit and put the heater back and try that if that works and if your heater is uh, staying on uh, and if your heater is uh, turning um, if your heater is uh, not turning on then take this knob and rotate it clockwise a little bit and then again put back the heater together put it back in your aquarium and see if it works uh, and that's how the heater works 
so hopefully you found this video helpful and i will see you in the next video bye